Back here at home, these kids in Jamestown have seen a lot in just a few years. Friends and people close to them lost to violence. But a visit from a Canadian rap artist is helping them move on. The story now from CTV's Naomi Parnas. And obviously we're creating something for the community. They are young teens talking and writing about things even adults shouldn't experience. I see people crying, I see people dying, another sister, another brother is gone. Some 13 years old and Selena Bachos has already lived through a terrible loss. I have one that's close to me a lot and has passed away by getting shot. And um, it's just sad to me that he's gone. Bachos is part of a group of students in Jamestown using music to heal their pain. Five, six, seven, and... Peace, love, hope, and unity. Please help the people that live in our community. These grade six and seven students wrote that course. It's part of a summer school program at their school, the brainchild of this man, Sean Morissette, a.k.a. Subliminal, a well-known Canadian rapper and actor, now giving back to a community that's been rocked by years of violence. So the goal is to counteract some of the negativity and the negative stuff we've been seeing uh, out in the community with some positive stuff. I'm not expecting everybody to sound like Beyonce. The final product okay. will be like a music video. Peace, love, hope, and unity. Please help the people that live in our community. A total team effort. The eldest students wrote the beat, the grade six and sevens, the words, and the youngest students will draw pictures of how they see their community. The final product will be part of the school's history, but even more than that, it will become a piece of the community's history. We got to get the negativity out. Rashad Anusa is only 11. He saw his cousin just hours before he was shot to death. He says this program is helping him. It helps me by doing music, something that I actually like to do. We support each other, then we'll come together. We can stand forever through all kinds of weather. Their big wish now is that those words become reality. Naomi Parnas, CTV News.